Into the Woods is a really great piece of writing. It's surprising, it's unexpected, and it's um, really, really beautiful when, when you're not quite ready for it. And that's why I think it's also really moving. Um, it's fundamentally a journey story. It's the story of this group of human beings, this small but mighty group of people, who each set out originally as individuals um, and then become a kind of a human army. And they're going into the woods, which is to go into the unknown, is to go into the darkness, um, which is sometimes quite what life feels like. Um, and trying to find the thing they think they want. And when you get the thing you think you want, uh, what do you do after that? And how do we live? Uh, so it's, it's, it's about all these kind of great, really big things in this very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, honest and uh, direct, direct kind of story. It uses uh, characters that we think we know from fairy tale and fable, but in unexpected ways, and cast different kinds of light on their stories that you might not have been expecting. It does all of this mostly through song, which is great. And for us here, we're doing it outside, which is also kind of amazing in this, um, you know, it's, it's great to do something like Into the Woods where people are actually going to walk through trees before they go to sit in their seat. It's just kind of wonderful, you know, it adds something to the experience. And it's got a scale to it and a kind of us against the world you know or how small we can be in the world and yet how important we are all to each other and you can feel that in the Elizabethan theater in a way that you can't always feel in a theater that has a roof on it. It's really kind of daunting to have had the the total honor of working here as long as I have and to really approach things just the way um, that is true to me and to have that actually be welcomed it, it's hard to say how meaningful that really is it's extraordinary um, I don't know what this is going to be like because I haven't done it yet I do know that it's the the things that probably run through anything of mine that you might have seen here are that they are people first. Um, I think that the actor is at the center of the theatrical experience, and I think that their capacity to create worlds within your mind is greater than anything else. Um, I think that we go to the theater to see people. So this will definitely be people forward. Um, I think that when you're dealing in fantasy worlds, um, which frankly, you know, there's no difference from the fantasy world of an all's well that ends well or a Julius Caesar to the fantasy world of a musical. It's, it's the same task. You want to let the audience really come to the party and figure out how it's the viewer that's going to finish and create the experience. Getting to do that in the Elizabethan theater, where I've never worked in there before, and it's huge and wonderful and challenging, but huge and wonderful and challenging, is going to somehow be an integral part of what this experience is. And that's what I'm working on right now to figure out what that is. Um, but I hope it will be Actually, I know. I have to trust. This is a really great piece of writing. It's really honest. It's really human. The music is really transportive and transformational. And I will honor those things. And the actors will bring all of themselves to it. And people will come and sit in the seats. And they will be glad they were there. <laughs>